So after effects version 23.0 is here, we now have some really cool new features and one of them being there is a new way to play around and organize the trackmat layers. We also have native H.264 encoding, so we can render directly within After Effects without having to go in Adobe Media Encoder. We also have some new animation presets, a new faster timeline navigation and a new optional installer for Cinema 4D. And we also have some new features which are currently in beta, but this will be delivered with the next upgrades. And the coolest one is that we can now import a 3D model directly within After Effects without having to install other plugins like Element 3D. So you can take your 3D object and directly import it within After Effects. Very nice feature. We have a new properties panel and also new ASS color management for color grading lovers. And let's jump into After Effects and let's talk about some of these features. So one of the new features is the new and better organized presets panel. We now have the HD presets, the 4K and the 8K. And then we have a new panel for the social media presets. Then we have presets for the TV and film. Whereas in earlier versions like 2022, we had kind of the same panel but we didn't have the social media ones and this was not so well organized like we have here in this new version. And now the biggest updates of them all, we finally have a new way to organize and play around with drag metal layers. So check this out, I have all these colorful layers and I also have this white circle right here. And let's say I want my layers to be visible only inside this white circle, right? So what I can do is to select all the colorful layers, take this P-Quip which is under the TrackMat panel and link it with the white circle. And boom, that is all. How cool is that? In just two clicks. Whereas before in earlier versions, I'm here in After Effects 2022. So if I want to do the same, I would have to take this layer, move it on top of shape layer 5 and then this one, select alpha matte with white circle and this is done for one layer and then I would have to take the white circle layer, duplicate it, move it on top of layer 6 and do the same, then duplicate it again for layer 7 and again for layer 8. So. This is a very, very welcome addition and I think all After Effects lovers will be just in love with this feature. Another new feature is the native encoding for H.264. So if I want to export this animation, I can go to Composition, then Add to Render Queue. And now if I press on this drop down, I can select H.264 directly, whereas before in earlier versions, I would have to go again to render queue, but here I don't have that H.264, so I would have to export maybe in QuickTime and then convert it. So that would be a pain in the ass, but now we have directly H.264 and let's also render it just for fun to see how long it takes. So it took about two minutes and one second to export. And if we look at the file properties, you can see that it has 6.3 megabytes, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with the result. We also have some new animation presets. Adobe says there are over 50. You can find them here in the animation presets panel. We have new shapes animation and text animation. And I'm not going to play around with this, but I've put here some of them, which I think are pretty cool. And you can see that now we have much more control over this. For example, on this DNA helix, you can modify the width, the spacing, the appearance, the dot size, and lots of other effects and elements. So yeah, I encourage you to just take a look at this. Maybe you find, you find them useful. And now we are in After Effects beta. And let's see how this 3D model importer works. I have a chair here downloaded, so let's try to drag this and drop here. We have a warning, but it doesn't really matter. 
and let's drag this here and if I go to advanced I can change the scale to centimeters let's press ok and we are now in Mercury 3D workspace and we also have the draft 3D activated and now if I take the camera tools and move around I can just see how it looks and this is cool but the problem is that we don't really have any control over this I can't apply any texture, any fill, anything so the only way for example to, to change this color of this one is to create a new light maybe make it purple one ok and I can now play around with this light until I get my desired color but it's, yeah I hope Adobe will, will solve this and if we are here we can see that we have a new properties panel and instead of going here just uh, select this drop down go to transform and see every property you can just see it directly here in this property panel so all versions of after effects 2022 2023 and the beta one are running on m1 maybe pro and are native m1 versions so if you'd like to see how the native m1 versions of after effects are comparing with the older ones running on intel you can check this video right here thanks for watching and talk to you in the next one